Hey, I'm Jack Clatt, and today I'm at Volume Records in Hillsboro, North Carolina. Some tasty vinyl treats. Well, I got into vinyl basically when just going to thrift stores, and I discovered I could get music for pretty cheap. And then, down the road, I discovered that, you know, there's a certain sound quality that hits your ears a little nicer than you know, low grade MP3s or, you know, there's just something about it that feels good. And there's something about like holding a record. And I would always like read the liner notes and I like that. I like the, the object itself is kind of, kind of a cool, cool thing. But when I was a little older in high school, I started seeking out vinyl shops like, um, in Minneapolis, there's a, great record store uh, chain called Cheapo. That's probably where I first started going vinyl shopping. And there's a punk rock record store called Extreme Noise, which has been around for years and years and years. And the Electric Fetus, of course. And uh, another favorite in Minneapolis is Jaime's Records. I've got, I think I got my first Bob Dylan record at Jaime's when I was 16 or something like that. It felt good, and it's always a little scary to hear myself uh, through speakers. It's always kind of a weird experience, but but it sounded it sounded really good. I'm super happy with it. I try to, yeah. That's always a great way to spend an hour or two. You never know what you're gonna find. You find different things in different towns. I got some music treats. Um, first, we got Loretta Lynn and the great Conway Twitty. Um, some fantastic duets, I've heard them sing in the past, and this is Elizabeth Cotton, who's, who's a blues finger picker, she picked a, she played Freight Train, is probably her most notable tune, and she plays left-handed, but she never had a left-handed guitar, so she just plays it, a right-handed guitar, upside down. I also got some J.J. Kale, naturally, I, some... I love the drum machine on this record. It's amazing. I can't wait to to listen to this one. Joni Mitchell, Court and Spark. She has a crazy voice. I love her singing and her songs and everything about her. I actually already have this record, but it's kind of messed up, so I thought I'd get a new one. Got Patsy Cline, Greatest Hits. It's crazy on there. And it's a pretty cool cover, too. Um, I grabbed this Fred Neal record. I don't know anything about Fred Neal, actually. Um, except that my friend is obsessed with him, and I respect his musical taste, so I decided to gamble on Fred Neal. And last up is uh, Ramblin' Jack Elliott. I got into Ramblin' Jack when I was in high school and he sent me on a crazy weird path in music and I've never seen this record before I had to get it 